Hey, this is CD Detail. I'm Chris. This is also Chris, and this is MMA for you. We're going to be doing our Tough 17 finale predictions, which happens on April 13th. Uh, overall, I mean, you got a lot of guys from the Ultimate Fighter on here. Decent pre, some pretty, uh, pretty decent prelims. Pretty good main card. What do you think of the card, man? You got the California Kid on it. Yeah, um, let's see, we got California Kid, we've got uh, Maximo Blanco, Travis Brown. Mm -hmm. um, some names, yeah. I mean, there's some names, you know, I'm, you know I've, I've definitely seen better, but I, and I've seen worse, but, you know, overall, you know, pretty solid, and so uh, I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, I'm actually looking forward to the most, uh, fight the most, is uh, Misha Tate versus Kat Zingano. Winner of that will fight Ronda Rousey and coach the Ultimate Fighter. Oh okay. So yeah, man. Uh, is that the only is that the only women's fight on this card? Or? Yeah, that's the only women's fight on this card. Okay, cool. So yeah, man, and it's the second women's fight in UFC history. Oh wow! Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yep. So yeah, let's get right to it, man. You let's get, uh, let's do this. Okay, we got Scott Young Guns Jorgensen versus Uriah the California Kid Faber. Man. I think Favor's gonna win this one. I like Scott Jorgensen, man. You know, good wrestler. He's Brazilian Jiu Jitsu solid. This guy did a guillotine choke and lifted a dude uh, um, and pushed him against a cage and choked him out in like the air. You know, but Favor, man, <coughs> I think he got this. What do you think, man? I, uh,. I like Scott Jorgensen too, but uh, I'm gonna have to agree with you. I'm gonna go with the California kid. Mm -hmm. uh, trains at Team Alpha Male. Mm -hmm. um, strong cardio. Uh, strong with his scrambling. You know, oh, his good good yeah. wrestling. Yeah. Uh, good strong guillotine pushes forward. You know, he's he's his California kid. You know, he's uh, he's kind of an iconic and. Uh, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to agree with you. I'm going to go with him. Yeah. That's my pick. Favor is just that type of guy that can beat everyone except for the champions. Whether it's Dominic Cruz, Hennon Burrell, Mike Brown back in the WEC. Uh, this guy, uh, Jose Aldo. You know, I mean, he can beat just about anyone except for the champions. And I think this uh, that's going to apply here. I think Favor wins this one. Okay. For the uh, Ultimate Fire 17 Tournament Final, we got... Uh, Uriah Hall versus Kelvin Gastelum. <clears throat> um, I mean, Uriah Hall, this guy's a favorite. I mean, this guy spinning back kicked a guy to the face and knocked him out. He knocked out his last opponent from the bottom. <laughs> uh, excuse really? me, from punches on the bottom. From, a, from a strike like up? Dude, yeah, he's back. in guard. Yeah, he's in guard on his back and he kept punching and the other guy covered up and then. He rolled him over and finished with ground and pound, and that was it. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I got. I got. I got to Google that later. Yeah, Google. Google the spinning back kick, especially. Oh, man. Cool. Yeah, Kelvin, though, man. I mean, this guy is the most resilient dude, man. This guy wasn't supposed to get this far, and with his wrestling, this guy's got a lot of heart and resilience. He, he made it to the finals, undefeated. But I gotta go with your right hall, man. Seven and two record. His only two losses are to Costa Filippo and Chris Weedman. This guy's striking, Muay Thai is really good, uh, and his power is there, man. What do you think? Um, I'm going with uh, Uriah Hall too. Mm -hmm. uh, he's on a three-fight win streak. Uh, you know all the things that you just mentioned uh, previously. You know some crazy stuff going on with him. So uh, he's my pick to right. uh, to beat Kelvin Gastelum. Okay, next right after that, we got the women's fight as Misha Cupcake Tate fights Cat Alpha Zingano. Who do you got, man? I gotta go with Cupcake. Uh, you know, she's training at MMA Lab for this fight. You know, she's mm -hmm. got good wrestling, good Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, uh, very resilient. Oh, man, yeah. Um, In her fight with Judy Kadzi, she was getting that head kicked. And knocked down, and she managed in the third round from her back to get an armbar for the win. You know, she's tough to put away, man. Uh, who, who do you got? Dude, I got Cat Alpha Zingano, oh, yeah? though, man. 7 0 undefeated record. She was actually the captain of her wrestling team. She's on. Uh, both have good wrestling. Misha Tate has some good functional wrestling for MMA. <clears throat> um, has, uh, and Cat uh, uh, Zingano, you know, she's. Um, she was uh, all American, if I'm not mistaken, in wrestling. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is good. She's she's also knocked out so much. Uh, she has three wins by K.R.T.K.O., man. She's knocked out some girls as well. 
I got it on Zingano. I think she got the power. Her stand up, I think, might be a little better. Wrestling wise, I've had some arguments. You know, some people think Tate got the better wrestling. I'm sure you do think that. I, I definitely do. Yeah, but uh, Kat Zingano is not a bad wrestler herself. Both have good Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I'm looking forward to that fight a lot, man. Yeah, yeah. That, that's going to be awesome. And it's the, uh, you know, it's the only female. Uh, fight on the card, and so you know that's gonna be uh, pretty exciting to watch. Uh, you know, personally, I don't like watching chicks, you know, fight, but uh, mm -hmm. you know, I, I think I might, I might tune in for this one. Nice man, nice. Well, not about the, not about uh, tuning in, yeah, but not about the, uh, not watching chicks fight, but. I'm a huge supporter. I don't know. So. I, don't, I don't really support that kind of stuff. But anyways, good. Ooh, well, yeah, that's that next fight after that, the only heavyweight fight on the card has Travis Hafa Brown versus Gabriel Napal Gonzaga. This one's was well, tough for me to call. And as far as the picks go for this whole card, I mean, this was actually the hardest one to call simply because Gonzaga is finally using his wrestling and Virginia Jiu Jitsu again <laughs> and winning fights that way. I think uh, his last. Three opponents. He's uh, he's uses Brazilian. Uh, I know his last two opponents. He, uh, one was Ben Rothwell. He guillotined him, and he rear naked choked a uh, guy before that. Um, but man, Travis Brown. I gotta go, Travis Brown. Man, trains at Jackson's. Huge mm. guy, but tra moves really well for his size. Has one punch KO power. His wrestling's improving. Both these guys have crappy cardio, but. <laughs> Who do you got, man? Uh, you seem kind of torn. Uh, you know, I, I got Brown. Mm -hmm. um, trains at Jackson. You know, all the, uh, all the all the reasons that you had just discussed, uh, you know, uh, apply. And so I think uh, Brown gets this one over Gonzaga. Um, you know, relatively, uh, not relatively easy, but, you know, it, it'll, it'll be a battle. But, you know, I, I think he's going to pull it out. Yeah. One thing that's notable about Gonzaga, too, man, six losses, right? Five of them are by KO or TKO. Travis Brown, 13 wins. Nine of those are by KO or TKO. That, that's also why I'm kind of leaning a little more towards Brown. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Huh. And finally, uh, kind of a head-scratcher why this is in the main card. Uh, um, but we got Robert Bubba McDaniel versus Gilbert Smith. Uh, you know, I'll go with Bubba McDaniel, man. He has uh five times the f four times the fights that Gilbert Smith has. Trains at Jackson's. Um, out of his twenty wins, fifteen of them are by submission. Who do you got, man? I uh, I'm gonna switch my pick on this one. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with uh, Gilbert Smith. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, you know, uh, he's on a three fight win streak. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I, uh, Four wins by sub, man. He's got some submission lot wins. Yeah, he. I mean, he's he, he's got he's got that you know he's got the uh, the submission game, and so. Uh, and Bubba's got four losses by sub, man. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Sounds like a recipe for uh, you know disaster. No, but uh, you know I'm not too confident in this pick, but uh, you know sometimes I gotta play devil's advocate. So. No problem, man. Yeah, Bubba McDaniel, I mean, when in the Ultimate Fighter, when he fought Uri Hall, man, he, he kind of, like, mentally shut down or something. So he got kneed and punched, and that was it. <laughs> oh, really? You got to watch that on YouTube, too, yeah. I, I got to catch a lot of these fights. I mean, I've been so busy with, you know, the, the rest of my life that uh, it's been tough. Huh. Okay, on to the prelims, which happens on Fuel TV, 7 p.m. <coughs> Eastern Time. Kevin Casey fights Josh Salmon. Got to go with... Uh, Josh Salmon, man, when he oh, does, yeah. yeah, when he does ground and pound, dude, he double punches guys. Oh shit! Yeah, I don't know. His wrestling's good. His scrambling's pretty good too. Um, I, I gotta go with Salmon, man. You know, twenty five years old. Yeah, he's been on my radar for a while. Actually, he beat guys like Mikey Gomez and XFC and whatnot. Who do you got, man? I got Kevin Casey. Um, mm -hmm. He's on a two fight win streak. He's got mm -hmm. good Brazilian jiu jitsu. Um, I don't know. He's uh. You know what Kevin Casey's famous for? What What's he famous for? Being uh buddies with Spencer Pratt, if I'm not mistaken. That's what That's what he's famous for. Being buddies with. Yeah, Spencer I think Pratt. he might even be teaching him Brazilian Jiu Jitsu oh, yeah? as well. Yeah, I think he's like his uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu teacher. Oh, that's that's cool. <laughs> All right, yeah, I got him. I got Kevin Casey. So you got Kevin Casey yeah. because of that. He, you know, Casey though, he he does have some pretty good uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. 
Uh, three of his wins are by submission out of his five wins. But, uh, yeah, I got to go with Sam in here, man. Okay, next right after that, we got Colin Hart versus Luke Barnett. Or Barnett. Um, yeah, I don't know too much about the, these guys, but I do know with Luke, 5-0 and undefeated record. He's 6'6", six, six, dude. This guy's really tall, and he fights at middleweight. I'll go with Luke to win this one. How about you, man? I'm going to go with uh, Colin Hart. Mm -hmm. um, he's on a two-fight win streak. Mm. Uh, I don't mean, I don't, to be honest with you, I don't know too much about him, but, uh, mm. you know. He's got some good subs, man. Out of his four wins, three of them are by submission, though, you know. Yeah. Yeah, he's uh, not too bad there. So, yeah, man. Um, but, yeah, I'll, I'll go with Luke to win this one. I think he'll use his range to win that one. Cool. Yeah. We'll just, uh, you know, we'll have to see how that plays out. Okay. Next right after that, we have undefeated Jim Qu uh, Quinlan versus Dylan Andrews. Once again, I'm not too... I don't know too much about these guys except from what's on the show, but Andrews has, like, jeez, six times, almost seven times the amount of fights as Jimmy. Uh, Andrews has a 15-4 and four record. There's one no contest. Ten wins by KRT go. Three wins by sub. Four fight, one streak. 33 years old. I'll go with Dylan Andrews to win this one. How about you, man? I'm going to go with uh, Jimmy Quinlan. Oh, yeah. Going with the undefeated guy, huh? Uh, definitely. Uh, good Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Uh, like you said, he's uh, undefeated. And uh, hopefully he remains undefeated after he fights your guy, uh, Dylan Andrews. Cool. And uh, the final fight of the fuel card, we have Clint Hester versus Bristol Marunde. Uh, I remember Bristol Marunde only because he fought Jacare and Strike Force and he got arm triangled. Decent fighter, 12 second, 7 record, but Clint Hester, 7 and 3 record, 3 fight, 1 streak, 26 years old. I'll go Clint Hester to win this one. But I'm going to go with uh, Bristol Marunde. Mm -hmm. um, more experience, huh? A little more experience. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. Why don't you tell me a little bit about it? 12 and second, 7 records, 3 wins by Kertiko, 5 wins by Sub. But he also has 3 losses by Sub, and he's 30 years old. He's been around the block for a while. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All right. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's my guy. Okay. And on to the Facebook prelims. We have Cole Miller versus Bartimus Bart Palaszczuk. This one's tough for me to call because Bart hits hard, man. But, you know, I'll go Cole Miller. I, I have a hard time picking against Cole Miller. He's a really fan-friendly type of fighter, you know. Yeah. Win or lose, he, he, he tries to put up a fight. 18-7 and seven record. He's on a two-fight losing streak right now. Trains the American top team. His stand-up's good, but his defense sucks. But his jiu-jitsu is actually really good. Uh, who do you got, man? I, um... I got Bart. Bartimus, man. Can't really pronounce his last name. Uh, you can call him Bartimus. Bartimus. Yeah. Trains with uh, Team Curran. Good mm -hmm. boxing. Has KO power. Uh, a veteran. Yeah, man. Um, 36 and 16 record, man. Yeah. Shoot, over 50 fights. Dang. Yeah. He, he must be beat up. But um, <laughs> you know, hopefully oh. uh, he's got enough uh, well, you know, seven. gas left in his tank. So. Yeah, well, 17 of his wins are by K.O. or T.K.O., man. He's yeah. only 29 Damn. years old. Yeah. So, you know, he, he can potentially knock Cole Miller's block off, to be perfectly honest yeah. with you. I tend to underestimate Bartimus, um, but he's a good fighter. I just I think Cole Miller might be able to take this fight to the ground and win it. But, ooh, man, you know, now, now that I'm saying it, I'm actually leaning like, kind of towards Barnabas here, but oh, yeah? I'll stick with Cole Miller. Yeah, you gotta stick with your boy. Okay, next fight after that, we have Justin <coughs> Lawrence versus Daniel Pineda. Uh, Pineda, you know, 17-9 record, 6 wins by KO Tico, 11 wins by Sub. He's a finisher, man. He also has 6 losses by Sub. He's 27 years old on a 2-fight losing streak. The guy's stand-up is good, but is very reckless. He's always pushing forward, always taking risk. You know, as Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is good. Justin Lawrence, solid kickboxer, though. Who do you got? Young I. Guy too. Personally, I got Justin Lawrence. Yeah, young Tra guy. Man. Trains at Black House. Mm -hmm. Good kickboxing. Um, 22 yeah, I, years I, I old, like, man. I like Black House. I, don't know, yeah. I like the guys over there. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I got Daniel Pineda, though, winning this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
And finally, we have Moxie Moldonko versus Sam Cecilia. Uh, I like Sam Cecilia's uh, last fight against Honey Jason. Guy has one punch KO power. His technique's not very good, but he hits hard. His defense isn't very good, but his shin is granite. Max Blanco though, man. 8-4-1-1 record. He's on a two-fight leading streak, though. But when he's on it, stand-up and wrestling are really good. Who do you got, man? I got Maximo Blanco. Uh, nice. Uh, yeah, I just like the guy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this guy, he, he's, he hasn't been doing that long to UFC, though, which is kind of unfortunate. He lost, like, Marcus Brimage. And before that, he lost to Pat Healy and Strikeforce. He, his performances in the U.S. have not been as great. I mean, this guy's knocking dudes out cold with uppercuts in Japan. But here, you know, he just can't put it together. Seven of his eight wins are by KO or TKO. The guy was an our Venezuelan, our, uh, I think it's Venezuelan, like, wrestling champion or something like that. You know? So who do you got? But I got Max Blanco, man. I, I think he'll beat Cecilia, but man, she hits hard. Who do you got, man? Yeah, I, I mean, I oh, yeah, he, he had Blanco too. Yeah, yeah no problem. Hey, yeah, well, that's our recap, man. All right, let's do this. <clears throat> okay, with Uriah Faber versus uh, Scott Jorgensen, I have Uriah Faber. Uh, I got the California kid also. Okay, thanks for asking that for the Ultimate Fighter 17 tournament final. We have uh, Uriah Hall versus Kelvin Gastelum. I got Uriah Hall. I've got Uriah Hall. Okay, and the second ever UFC uh, women's fight. Uh, we have Misha Cupcake Tate versus Kat Zingano. Kat Alpha Zingano. I got Kat Zingano winning that one. I've got Cupcake Tate. Nice. Okay. Got tra the only heavyweights on this card is Travis Brown fights uh, Gabriel Gonzaga. Got Travis Brown winning this one. I got. I got. Travis, Travis Brown, Brown, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I want to make sure I didn't switch the pick on that one. <laughs> And finally, Robert Bubba McDaniel fights Gilbert Smith. I got Bubba McDaniel. I've got, uh... You switched that one. Yeah, I got lady. Gilbert Smith, actually. Okay, on to the pre uh, Fuel TV prelims. We have Kevin Casey versus Josh Salmon. I got Josh Salmon winning this one. I've got Kevin Casey. Okay. Luke Barnett versus uh, Colin Hart. I got Luke Barnett. I've got Colin Hart. Okay. Dylan Andrews versus Jimmy Quinlan. I got Dylan Andrews. I've got Quinlan. Okay, and finally, Clint Hester versus Bristol Marunde. I got Clint Hester winning that I've one. I've got Bristol Marunde. Okay, on to the Facebook uh, prelims. Cole Miller fights Bart Palaszewski. I got Cole Miller winning that one. I've got uh, Bart Timis. <laughs> Bart Timis, <laughs> yes. Call him Bart Timis. Okay, Justin Lawrence fights Daniel Pineda. I got Daniel Pineda winning that one. I've got Justin Lawrence. And finally, Maximo Blanco fights Sam Cecilia. I got Maximo Blanco winning this one. I've got Maximo Blanco as well. So that's pretty much it for our predictions for the Ultimate Fighter 17 finale. Uh, if you have any comments, just leave them below. You got you got any uh, final words, man? Uh, not really. This one is what, what this, this one is going on this this weekend. Yeah, this weekend, this Saturday. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know. Like I mentioned previously, you know, I'm not a big fan of women's uh, MMA, but uh, you know, I'm willing to check out this. Uh, this uh, cupcake Tate versus Alpha Zingano mm -hmm. uh, fight, mm -hmm. and um, I don't know. I mean, I, it seems like there's been a crazy amount of uh, of MMA lately. So I, I, every I, weekend, is, on every April, weekend, if there's not a more, UFC. What's that? Next, yeah, there's a UFC every uh, weekend this uh, this April. Wow, that's just yeah. like next a week lot. is. Uh, I think we did predictions for it. Gilbert Melendez versus. Uh, uh, ben uh, Henderson, Bendo. yeah, on Fox. Yeah, actually, I I want to see that fight. Yeah, and uh, and the week after that's UFC 159, Sonnen versus Jones. Oh, I wouldn't mind seeing that one either, even though Sonnen is gonna get murdered. Yeah. So yeah. But uh, for somebody like you, I'm I'm sure you know this is like pure heaven, huh? Uh, you know, it's fun. Yeah, yeah that's for sure. So yeah, that's uh pretty much it for our predictions for the Ultimate Fighter finale, uh, 17 finale. Thank you guys, and this is MMA for you. Thank you guys very much. <clears throat>